It's really on. We got apple fritters, bro. Yeah. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sea to Sky Highway. We are going to Whistler today. Today's the best day. We are staying at a capsule hotel. A capsule hotel is like those pods. You know in Japan, they have those pods. Oh, I'm excited. We've dusted off our winter jackets. Yeah, I don't like that it's this cold already. <laughs> yeah, this tonight it says it's gonna be zero or one degrees tonight. <laughs> the Whistler was uh, where the 2010 Olympics were held. You know, like right around the corner here, you can see the mountains where people snowboard and, and the season hasn't started yet, so I it's, think we're like a month away. It's like, it's mainly a winter destination, but there's lots to do in the summer. There's good hikes, there's lots of shops, restaurants. Mountain biking. Apparently also a really big nightlife. You know that stuff? Oh, do you know that song? No. Casey and Joe, that's like an old... Yeah. 80s, 90s track. <laughs> One of those people. Should I just stay here all, yeah. all night? Make us some money, Phil. <laughs> this is just up here. Hi. Here it is, right here. Okay, Phil, we're here. We're at the Capsule Hotel. Most exciting thing I've done all week, and all it's year. It's not raining. It's been raining all week. Okay, okay. Like Pangea Pod Hotel. I wonder if it's going to be like the Japanese ones. Like, okay, oh, here we go. Nice. They got a, a futuristic check in here. It's We gotta put a wristband on. This is our hotel key. We're in F. Oh, over here. Oh, this is so cool. It's like a fancier hostel, I think. Yeah, way better than a hostel. There's two types of suites. We got the ones that you kind of like go straight into, but we could have upgraded. And these are like the special ones that are like sideways. So maybe just a little bit easier to get into. It is so cool. Honestly, they thought of everything in here. Like even here to get up. I this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. This is quite spacious. Two people could easily sleep in here. It sucks we don't get to sleep together though, Phil. Oh, like you're sad about that. <laughs> you get the whole bed to yourself. I get to wake up to someone really nice and pretty. <laughs> <laughs> that was a stupid joke. <laughs> this is so spacious, like as far as capsules go. Like look, so they have a light. Is it, oh, the light is here. Fan is here, your plugs are here. Towels. Magazines, books, lockers, little, even like a mini closet and a little garbage. So much space. I guess these are the washrooms. Shower. Oh nice, it even has like a little foldy thing. Hangers. Man, these guys thought of everything. I know. How many hostels do you think we've stayed in? 30? No, probably more. And then this, probably the toilet. Sounds really nice. Is it a sensor? Is there other? <laughs> there's almost 20 pods in here. There's three bathrooms downstairs. There's an upstairs. There's a changing room that's so handy for hostels. <laughs> Look, it's like one of those blocker mirrors. <laughs> you do my makeup here. You can even see the mountains. Can you see them? You were on the terrace right now. They even have a terrace for each room. Nap time. Give me your left foot. This is what happens when I'm being a baby. Wes treats me like a baby in the hopes that I'll smarten up. The only negative I can see is that you have to stay with other people. Like, you're pretty close to other people. You gotta share a bathroom and stuff like that, but that doesn't bother me. Would it bother you? Because it doesn't bother me. We just posted on our stories and already so many people asked us how much it costs to stay here. And it's like 50 or $60 per person, which is actually the cheapest that you're gonna get here in Whistler. And it's brand new. So really like 
why would you stay anywhere else? <laughs> This is pretty cool. Like, okay, this is not winter season yet. So in the summer, everyone rides like mountain bikes. I have not done this and Phil, I would really like, to, would you ride a mi mountain bike? Cause like the, the crazy hills here. Maybe and then, where, I'd go where the kids are. And then everyone pulls up their bikes, has a beer at, right in front of the track. People ride down this hill? <laughs> Why does it look scary? Looks like it's under construction. <laughs> looks like, like a white carrot. Looks like a lot of... <laughs> What is that? What are you? So it's how you shake, shake the salad. Everybody does it. <laughs> no? Bon appetit. Bon appetit. We balance all the shitty food we ate throughout the week with by by eating a salad once. We're even. We're even now, yeah. <laughs> They have a bar here and supposedly they make pizza and they make the pizza like they make the crust here so it's gonna be a legit the dough, le they make oh the dough, dough the crust the crust. Dough, yeah. they've got a special and it's a pizza and a beer for fifteen dollars not a bad price for a whistler oh my god is very wobbly <laughs> enjoy oh. Ever since we got back from France, I've had this like real like jet lag problem. I've been going to bed at like 8 p.m. every night. Yeah, we're like on opposite schedules. Felicia goes to bed at 3 a.m. and I go to bed at 8 p.m. And you wake up at like 4 and I'm just going to bed. Whistler's like a, in, the, in the winter you snowboard and in the summer you ride bikes. So they have like two huge rooms where you can actually store your bikes and your, your snowboards or your skis and stuff like that. They have lockers. They like. It's legit here. Oh, thanks. Whistler is a little bit expensive when it comes to eating out, but this place, L Furniture Warehouse, has everything on the menu for $5.95. And this was a tip from one of our viewers, actually. I am excited to order. Hi! How's it going? Good. Just like to get a poutine, actually. That was actually really fast. It's like three minutes, right? So a poutine is French fries, gravy, and cheese curds. Does not sound healthy, is probably not healthy, but a typical Canadian thing. Specifically, Quebecois. If you want a real poutine, you should go to Quebec. The fries and the gravy are really hot, so the cheese kind of just melts and gets all stringy. And you want to make sure you get a little bit of cheese in every bite. Maybe the gravy sounds weird, but it goes well. It goes together really well. Last night, this is Felicia talking about my favorite restaurant they have here in, in Whistler. It is just stir fry. It is a regular stir fry. It's better. That's it. I'm literally crying because Wes is just not accepting this. Well, it says world famous stir fry. They have this all over Western Canada. Come along inside. 20% off lunch too. Fresh isn't an understatement. Alicia says this is just stir fry. Okay, how cool of a place. You get to choose anything you want. It's like you normally you go to a restaurant and you have to, you know, you order something and it has onions in it and you're like, ah, oh, I didn't really want onions. But this, you pick whatever, Fel. How could you not like this? They grill right in front of you. There are a few times where Wes is like really happy. One, when he's flying the drone. <laughs> Two, when he's playing his video game. And three, <laughs> Mine says, you are sensitive to all that is going on around you, which is kind of true. Where did I, oh, I went in my sleep. <laughs> 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 is it time for dessert? Mm -hmm. And not just any dessert, I'm getting ice cream at Cow's Ice Cream, which is among the best ice cream in all of Canada. Their best seller here is Wowie Cowie. Thank you. I came here with my parents and they said that this cow's ice cream is better than Baskin Robbins. <laughs> I like how excited we get. Manila is my favorite and this kind of tastes like butterscotch ripple. How much? It's really creamy. I have a sweet tooth, but at home we usually don't get sweets, so this is like my excuse to, <laughs> to eat. It's for the video, Wes. <laughs> And I bet you're gonna wanna try some. 
You know, growing up, I never had ice cream. My parents, which I would just eat like raw flour and <laughs> and rice or whatever. Like, no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right. My mom watches the video, so I'm joking. Uh, but I, I mean, we didn't. I don't remember eating too much dessert. So now in the house, like I don't eat dessert ever. And Felicia's family has dessert after every meal. <laughs> I guess it's an Italian thing. Oh, a Mexican thing too. How much was it? Five bucks. Five dollars. I eat it a lot faster. No, you gotta enjoy it. Felicia Savor says that I gotta it. enjoy it though. That's so. If I eat fast, I'm not enjoying it. But that's untrue. I eat fast and I enjoy it. 